What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another quick video that we're going to be doing. Today we're going to be looking at, well these are part of the Showtime players. They're in the Showtime Spanish League box, um, but they are actually other players in here. They've started to mix in a few rather than just regular cards now, maybe to make it a little bit more enticing. You've got Rodrigo, you've got Jimenez, you've got Griezmann, you've got Marino, you've got Rudiger who's probably the pick of the pack. You've got the two Garcia boys, Garcia, Alex Garcia. And David Garcia, or David Garcia, Ledesma is the goalkeeper, and that rounds us off. The rest are just standard cards, right? So, look, we're not going to focus on them all, because this guy as a goalkeeper, even though he's got 32 levels to go, he has low punt, but he doesn't have long throw, and he's got standard form. Pretty much a waste of time if you are going to be spinning him. I wouldn't even waste the trainers on him, with no disrespect. Um, this guy, Garcia, as a centre-back as well, not a bad centre-back, but because you've got Rudiger in there, uh, who pretty much has everything apart from one or two key little things, um, this guy, you know, doesn't really compete. Now, he's not bad. As I said, he's not bad. But what you're going to have with this uh, destroyer is a lack of acceleration. So when you are in team, when you are controlling the player, it's not going to be too bad. But when you aren't controlling the player, when the AI are controlling them, you are always better have to, better off to have a centre back with high enough acceleration, maybe past the 73, 74 mark for the acceleration if you can. Because you'll see when we get to Rudiger that it is quite easy to get destroyers that have that kind of acceleration in there. I mean, even Araujo has it, his standard card, right? Um, but these kind of centre backs, like Ramos as an extra front man, you'll see the acceleration is going to be an issue as well. But we're not really focusing on him. So moving on towards the list, and we will start to focus a little bit more um, on these guys. If you're playing this guy as a central midfielder just for pure passing, he's not bad. I mean, he's got low lofted pass, pinpoint crossing. He also has one touch pass, long range shooting, first time shot. Standard form. He has uh, no player face in the game as well, so that'll put people off, I, pre I presume. But low pass, lofted pass, and ball control in the 80s before, you know, at level one. It's pretty decent. Again, you're going to have that same issue with him. Even though he has got really bad physical contact and acceleration and speed, he actually does have good balance and stamina. I would be tempted to play this guy as an AMF and just basically just be picking passes left and right. I mean, you are going to be able to train him up. He's not going to be a monster player. Um, I would say that he's more kind of a player that you're going to be using if you are trying to get... Uh, hello everyone if you are trying to get somebody like this there are a lot of really good options out there that you can get that are kind of similar um to this guy right now his passing can go into the 90s that's no problem i mean any player like this is going to have passing ball control everything in the 90s where it kind of comes um an issue is the speed and the acceleration that is going to be a bit of an issue but this guy can actually go 90 balance as well if you train him up correctly right so it's not a bad card i mean it is somebody that you could probably have a bit of fun with 90 balance 90 ball control 90 low pass 90 lofted pass and then you're going to get the boost to the 88 dribbling the 77 acceleration is not the worst for a cmf so he's actually not a bad player as an orchestrator i know people don't like to play as orchestrators but he's actually not a bad player at all if you look at him in the cold light of day right so back to this we are going to be taking a quick look now at these four okay Sorry, these four. So you've got Rudiger, you've got Rodrigo, you have got Jimenez, and you have got Griezmann, right? Marino, I mean, we can kind of put him off, even though he's uh, he's not a bad player either. Good stamina, unwavering form. He's got some really nice player skills with interception, true pass and one-touch pass, and sliding tackle. If you do get this guy, lads, he's, he's not a bad option at all. I mean, you would see here that if you are going to be training up a player like this, right... You do need to kind of, I suppose the word is to kind of limit your expectations of what you're getting with him because there is better box to box there. Um, but it's just more about kind of like being able to train up what he's weak in to make him at, le at least a little bit viable when you have the ball with him, right? But for me, I don't think that he's going to be a player that you can really, um, you know, use compared to other players. I mean, there he is maxed out with a version of him there. It's not really going to be. Like, for example, like Caicedo or any of the guys, Labotka on the free that you can get for the free five-star. Breakout Stars is a much better player than this, okay? So, moving on to the le to the last four, right? We've got Rodrigo, we've got Jimenez, we've got Griezmann, and we've got Rudiger, right? I'm going to go through these fairly quick, okay? So, the first one to look at is Jimenez here, right? He is a pretty decent player, lads. He's got everything that you could possibly want in a centre-back. And he's one of the most aggressive centre-backs as well with the player skills. And he also is uh, not a bad height, not a bad weight, not bad speed. Everything is kind of around the middle, right? He's down as a destroyer as well. The one issue I would say with him compared to other centre-halves, right, is going to be the issue with... Um, 
is going to be the issue with the speed. But you can see here his maxed out stats. These are pretty banging stats, lads. 84 header, right? You've got 91 offensive aware defensive awareness, 90 tackle, 93 aggression, and 92 defensive engagement, okay? Now, I would probably take one from the defending there, and I would actually pop three into, or one into, two into jump um, to get his header up. Where am I going with this? Uh, yeah, so I'd pop one more into header, um, and then I'd have that one left for jump there if you wanted to have 91 jump. You're going to get the boost to tackling and defensive awareness and defensive engagement when his player form arrows up. So that's going to be a big thumbs up for me. Slight worry with the unwavering form, but this is probably one of the best versions of him that they have released. And it's definitely a player that you could build a squad around, right? We've also got um, Rodrigo who is in a similar position, um, is that he's not like really kind of overpowered meta or anything like that. He's a very solid winger, really good uh, player skills. But what really kind of sets him apart is the fact that he's one of the best super subs in the game, right? Things aren't working for you on the wing. You can have a 95 rated Rodrigo. This isn't even the best version of him, even though he's got 92 acceleration. I would probably limit that down one. Okay, I would also take his speed down, uh, maybe just down to the 86 mark. I would completely take away the passing if you're not going to be crossing balls in because he's not really a passing winger. Like there's passing wingers and, you know, like Kustic or somebody like that that can get the ball and swing them in or else there's, you know, really kind of dribble centric wingers like Matoma, Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr. Okay, and then you've got guys that can do everything, but he's not one of them. So I would definitely focus on one area and that would be a cut in winger. And then I would also probably try and get that tight possession up at least one more to get that boost with the 88 and then i would probably just put back two more into this if you wanted to get the 88 in that and then of course you can always pop on one to that so that's an extremely solid card you've got 91 ball control 90 dribbling 88 type possession 88 speed and 92 acceleration with that 89 balance absolutely perfect acrobatic finishing flip flap the scissors uh, faint double touch really really solid card right rounding us off we have his teammate here rudiger who is a phenomenal player as well. I mean, the big thing with Rudiger, right, lads, is that you have to you have to decide is, um, I know Griezmann is there as well, we'll get to him in a second, but Rudiger is a, is a destroyer, right? And if, he, if you're looking at him, the only weakness he has is the fact that he does not have the blocker player skills. So I definitely, definitely recommend you guys, if you are looking to get Rudy, then put on blocker on him. A lot of people sleep on blocker um, as a player skill, but you have to remember, right, that more often than not, with the way the game plays at the moment, you're going to be pretty much um, not controlling a lot of the defenders, as in you'll be chasing with your DMF or your CMF or your left or right wingers or left or right midfielders or right backs and fullbacks. Um, and your centre backs and your central spine of the team is going to be getting a lot of contextual blocks. So that is why I would do that. But look at the aggression as a base stat. 84 aggression straight off the rip, right? So we're going to really uh, boost that up. We're going to go 12 into defending. That's going to give us the top up to the defensive awareness and engagement. Tackling and aggression are going to be in the 90s. And then you've got uh, 79 speed here if you want to go that route with 75 stamina. But I would actually go for a 94 rated version of him and pop it into acceleration. Aerial strength, right? This is kind of a, a difficult one because I would actually probably take down that just one there because you're still going to want to have that aerial strength um, if you wanted to go that route. And I'd pop one more into that to get your 74 acceleration. You've got your defensive stats really solid. Your header isn't going to be massively uh, important stat-wise because he's got the header and aerial superiority player skills. So you don't need to give him them. But that physical contact, jump, and the acceleration speed with the defensive stats make this guy an absolute supreme monster now the biggest thing is right when you are training a player like that it's like any of the players lads it's like with Griezmann who will round off as well um Griezmann is here again Griezmann is just an average uh, player but the super sub is where he really excels right because you've got the acceleration the speed the balance the stamina um, the shooting and the passing now if I'm playing as Griezmann and if I want to bring him on as a whole player I'm probably not going to have his shooting that high I'd probably cap that at like 78 you'll still be able to score goals with him but you won't be scoring long range curlers it's more kind of like playing the Messi-esque role cutting in with that whole player playing style doing a lot of the work for you right the other thing that I would probably zone down on is I'm going to use Griezmann as a super sub or as an impact player. He's either going to start and play 60 minutes or he's going to come on after 60 minutes, right? So I'm not going to really need any more player skills than this, maybe one touch pass, but it's going to be super sub and then I can bring him on wherever I want across the middle of the pitch, right? Across the middle of the forwards. So I'm going to probably pick where I want to have him and I'm probably going to boost up his balance and his offensive awareness. That's where I'm probably going to go with him. Um, I will probably take his passing up a little bit. His dribbling is more than enough at that so we can pop one more on to shooting if you want to go that route but 
that is pretty much it, lads, for this uh, pack review, right? Rudiger is definitely the pick of them. I mean, if you look at Araujo as well, you've got that aggression and you've got that acceleration. So Rudiger does really kind of excel that way um, with the aggression, with the acceleration that you can really kind of mess around with his car to get the perfect build of him. So that is it for me, lads. That is a full training guide of the Highlight Spanish League players. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back later on today. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.